popping, was 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 popping, who is going to just go along with anything? Let's let that be known off rip. Not Yahshua, okay? I'm too fire. <laughs> Meaning, the energy that I put out into the world is such that it's conducive to positive energy only because that's all that I'm putting out. So, I refuse to accept anything that is not of my flame. You feel me of my vibration <laughs> and um i just wanted to talk to y'all about this because i keep thinking about like i saw i just moved recently and uh where i'm at there's all kind of beautiful women everywhere all kind of flames they out there you know they're just it doesn't matter where you look really especially if like i go to a beach or something and so my point is though with all of the options even that are available to any of us really because there's beautiful people in every city of every place in the world wherever you are i'm only talking about like the flames that match your flame i got i ain't trying to brag or nothing Cause that's not my style but like i get you know i get different matches hitting me in the dms and stuff like that you know what i mean you know not every now and then and like uh, while i appreciate the love it's like a lot of y'all I, I go i'll go look on the page after and a lot of y'all i don't mean y'all and the people watching because you know, it's general, but a lot of people are really, you know what I mean, caught up in what they're seeing other people do. And that's why they can't create their own flames. And so, like, I'll go click on a page after, right? You know, maybe I look at, you know, some of y'all deems, because the truth is, I, I I do what I do a lot of the time to help people, and so when I get DMs, it's a lot of the time people telling me about, you know, how they're being, you know, like touched by something that they saw from me, and I want to respond and give the love, so I do. And uh, but when I look on your page, let me tell you this, Queen. When I look on your page and I see bad bitch this, bad bitch that, you know, I'm, you know, hot girl summer, <laughs> you know what I mean? While I respect, you know, that uh, you're confident in yourself or trying to portray confidence in yourself, that ain't the kind of confidence I think that you should portray, you know what I mean? And I ain't, it ain't even a should, I'm not gonna shut you. But I was, I will say that you can be displaying so much more light, so much more brilliance and just being yourself, yo, and not trying to match the vibes of everybody else out here because the people you trying to copy are trying to copy other people if you're trying to copy people. And that's just straight up. We got matches here, y'all. That's what this video is going to be about. I've already started. That's what's unique about my ASMR, I think. I kind of like to talk and I love talking to y'all, especially in the comments. First of all, let me say how much I love y'all so much with everything that I have. Thank you so much for being such supportive people to me and like just riding with me and making sure that my matches are plentiful so I can keep sparking the flames for y'all. And I want y'all to know that it's all very appreciated so very much honestly straight up 
I mean, there is no faking here. There's no faking here. I love y'all so much, and I'm just so grateful to have y'all be a part of this journey with me. So that being said, I do what I do to uplift spirits. That's me. You follow me, you know what's up. It's all good vibes all the time. And all I'm trying to do, even in my role plays, is like give you a different insight. I talk to you in ways that people don't talk to you, probably people you haven't dated before, you know what I mean? And like experience within life, I let you know that there's ways you deserve to be treated and respected in this world and this life. And, you know, kings that go for y'all, too. It's not just the ladies that deserve respect. Y'all deserve respect, too. And so, you know, in some of my role plays, I'll be showing how uh, an argument or a situation of fire can be put out by just showing some love, showing some respect. It's powerful, king. It's powerful, queen. I promise you. And just as powerful as respect is for someone else, it's even more powerful to have for yourself. Feel me? So, with all of this, you know, bad bitch this, that, bad bitch that, that, y'all, I want to tell you there's greatness in you. And it's greater than a bitch. Straight up, y'all. I don't want no bitch. I'm a king, yo. Like I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not out here looking for no bad bitches. I see, you know, I see them all over the place. I'm looking for a woman with like intelligence and intuition. You feel me? And and love and her spirit and like kindness. You feel me? I'm looking for some class about herself. You know what I mean? Even if you gon', even if you gon' drop it and you know what I mean, shake that ass for me in private, which. I, <laughs> It's always wonderful. <laughs> it, it, I don't want you to be, you know what I mean, doing it for my homie. I don't want you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want you, you know, it's like this, it's, uh, it's a different kind of, uh, and I'm not throwing shade on nobody just so you know, like, yo, however you are, that's fine. I'm not, like, I love you as you are, period. But, like, when you're talking about companionship, you're talking about, Sparking a flame with somebody, that's got to be special. That's got to be something that can't just be blown out real simply because that's anything that is not, not authentically you. Anything that is not you is a, is a, a, a gimmick. It's a mirage and it won't last, you feel me? You got to be you. <laughs> I don't know why I even did that just now because it has my name on it and I'm talking about being you. That's it. I love all of your spirits individually. And when I see you, I get so proud of any achievement that I see you doing. Even if I don't know you, I swear, I promise you. Even if I don't know you, I just, I love when people are being themselves to the exclusion of anybody thinking they're weird or different or because it is different and different is the diamond in this world. I'm telling you, I promise you. Different is the diamond. Like I don't I don't even care what anybody thinks of me. Y'all know that. Like anybody that watches me, I don't care. I'm me through and through, no matter who I'm around, period. And like I was saying, these flames, they're ours to spark and ours to recognize. Because everybody doesn't have their own flame, which is what I'm getting at. You can have yours. See, there's lots of different flames to choose from. Box is full. But not all of them are going to be flames that match yours. So what I'm saying is, be mindful of your flame. Know your own heat potential. And don't be afraid to let your own flame shine. Because without you having an individual flame, you blend in. You're just like everybody else. We can't have that. What we gonna do with just being whatever like everybody else? What? What? No, we don't do that here. We 
don't do that here. <laughs> no. No. I wrote a poem called Phenomenal. I think I posted it somewhere, but I'm gonna basically my my proper point is though y'all know I'm a poet. This piece was about everybody individually being who they are phenomenally and how like there is no one like you, you know what I mean? You are phenomenal. Every person of every shape, every color of every race. You are in every way phenomenal. <laughs> Straight up, yo. <laughs> Y'all like how I bust it down like that too. I just go into stuff sometimes. See? Sometimes you get defective matches. Matches that think they're hot. <laughs> but aren't really, you know. And then you got to help them out. Because everybody has potential. And if you help them. Even if it takes a while. Oh my god. This match doesn't want to spark. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying again. Yeah, see. Well, maybe, you know, some matches. Some matches are just, you know, kind of too far gone sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> but listen, my point is, if you want to be seen, you want to stand out. Oh, that's my alarm. Dang, it's in the other room too. I have to get it. I'm sorry, because I don't remember the video. But it's all authentic. I'm not editing that out or nothing. I'm not. Listen, you want your flame to shine bright, yo, meaning you want to stand out. You want somebody to notice you and to think that you're worth coveting, worth um, maintaining, you know what I mean? Worth burning for. Oh, you got to be different. You got to be unlike the other flames. That's surface level you gotta go deep you gotta let that flame carry on for as long as it can and as soon as somebody tries to blow out your flame by telling you you're different you smile at them and you say thank you <laughs> you say thank you so much I appreciate that and also, no, no, whether you say it to them or not, you can say it to them. But know that within them saying that, that means they're not different. And they're like everybody else, you know? They don't have their own mind. They don't have their own program that'll take them away from everybody else's program, you know? And with your own mindset... field and a force to be reckoned with. You are an immovable object and an unstoppable force. You are great and wonderful and your light shines brighter than anybody else's. Sure, shine bright. Let your flame shine bright. Hot girl summer. Hot woman life. Oh. <laughs> D. 
didn't even blame that. Oh. some unique flames it, it makes up so interesting but listen y'all i'm not gonna stay here all day i just wanted to come on here and like let y'all know that your flames are unique and they're beautiful and if you don't allow anybody else to tell you differently then you won't believe differently and your internal dialogue will always be positive and bright you don't have to let anybody tell you that you're not beautiful. And you know what I mean? And that, like, you're not awesome, dude. Or, you know what I mean? That, like, your style is in any way inferior to theirs because their style ain't even their own. And and beyond that, their style is is um, something that's... The people who they're copying are, you know, are being given their style a lot of time. They're copying artists. They're copying trap music rappers that aren't even trappers they've never sold a drug in their life or you know what i mean just like I, oh, the world is so fake sometimes and it doesn't have to be because we're all real we all exist Girls, we 